Hello and welcome inside our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. I'm Megan Plain. Adam Winkler has the night off. Now, believe it or not, the one in three Washington football team is in a spot to be first place in the NFC East. I know it sounds crazy, but the division as a whole has just been that bad with not a single team winning more than one game through the first four weeks. So in order to win now, Washington is benching quarterback Dwayne Haskins and debuting a new starter in Sunday's game against the Rams. Kyle Allen suits up for the football team for the first time in his career when Washington welcomes Los Angeles to FedEx Field at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Rivera said today that he has by no means given up on Haskins, but when he looks ahead to the second quarter of the schedule, there's a window of opportunity to put themselves at the top of the division. So he's taking a win now approach. That means starting Allen, the guy who has three years of experience in this coaching staff system, and having Alex Smith as QB number two. I want to put the ball in the hands of somebody that's been in the system, backed up by somebody that's been in the system as well, but is very capable, and see what happens. And if we come out of this, you know, um, having won, you know, three of the four, we're right in the middle of it. For a guy like me who's, who came into this league undrafted, who was four string to start, you know, got limited reps in early camp. And you just kind of, when you get your opportunities, you just got to pounce on them and take advantage. And I know the more I take advantage of opportunities, the more I'm going to get. And so, you know, I'm always, I'm always here for the team. I'm always ready to support whoever's in there, but if it's my opportunity to go, I'm going to be ready for it. Flip flop Washington's one and three record. And that's what the Rams enter Sunday's game with. Three in one Los Angeles sits at second in the NFC West and this weekend will be a homecoming of sorts for some Rams coaches. Former Washington offensive coordinators Sean McVay and Kevin O'Connell each returned to FedEx Field for the first time since leaving the DMV. A large part of the growth of my coaching career occurred there and a large group of the people that I work so closely with, they're really not there anymore. I don't know a lot of these players. I don't know a lot of these coaches and um, it's definitely not going to be like going back and playing in front of uh, the hometown crowd either. So this really is, uh, you know, it's, it's important for us to go get our fourth win. Um, we know, we know that we're going to have to have a great week of preparation and you know, that that's, that's the honest to God truth. Washington looks to break a three game losing streak when they face the Rams who are seven point favorites as your official home on the Washington football team. We're the only local station at every home game. Adam Winkler will be at FedEx Field this Sunday for that 1 p.m. matchup. Plus, airing live right here on News 3 is an NFL doubleheader. At 1 p.m. Sunday, Baltimore welcomes this year's number one draft pick, Joe Burrow, to town when they host the Bengals. Following that game is an NFC East showdown between the Giants and the Cowboys that'll be taking place in Dallas tomorrow in our SEC on CBS matchup. It's a college football matchup between Tennessee and Georgia. That'll do it for this week's edition of the locker room show for Adam Winkler and everyone behind the scenes who helped make this thing happen. I'm Megan Plain. We've got more news three at 11 coming up after this short break.